Hello and welcome. It is your friendly neighborhood warlock Gubstep, and today we'll be covering on how to create cast bars for your target and how to create cast bars via the combat log in weak auras. If you're a complete beginner to weak auras and have no idea how to create a weak aura, I ask that you watch my beginner's guide to weak auras, otherwise all of this might be a little overwhelming for you. If you've used weak auras before, this will probably be perfect for you. Let's get started. To create a cast bar for your currently selected target, open up your weak auras, create a new progress bar, and name it whatever you like. Select your Triggers tab, change the type to Status, and then change the status to Cast. While we have a few different options for our unit, and I encourage you to explore these options, we will just be selecting Target for our unit for now. That's it. We've now created a simple cast bar for our target. Now what if we want the bar to change colors when the cast is interruptible? Open up your Weak Aura again, click the Conditions tab this time, Add condition, if interruptible is true, then change our bar color. I'll set my new color to green. Now our bar is green if our target's cast is interruptible. Now weak auras cannot track channel ticks on things like Drain Soul, so you'll need to use an add-on like Quartz to do that, but it's important to understand that weak auras has the ability to track casts. This is not only related to progress bars, a very popular weak aura I use calls out in chat when Cone of Death is being cast in the Argus encounter. We can do that with this weak aura very easily without needing to create another. Go to Conditions. Add condition, if spell name is exactly Cone of Death, then chat message, say, Cone of Death move. Now if Cone of Death is casting, you'll tell everyone around you. I must say that abilities relating to certain bosses actually should be put in their own weak auras and change their load parameters. Since this is Argus related, we would go to load, check the encounter ID, and then type in 2092, which is the encounter ID for Argus. Now this weak aura will only load when you have Argus engaged. It's important that you do not have too many weak auras active at one time, as each weak aura you create runs as if it were its own add-on. So if you have 300 weak auras running all at the same time, it could negatively affect your performance. That's why the load tab is so important, and should be utilized on almost every weak aura you use. Now we'll track our own cooldowns. Create a new weak aura progress bar, name it whatever you like, make sure you're on the trigger tab, change the type to status, then the status to cooldown progress spell, type in the name of the spell that you wish to track for yourself, and voila! That's it! Weak Auras will automatically pick up the icon and the cooldown of the spell when it's used. Now we'll move on to cast via the combat log. This is a little bit more difficult, but can be done. We'll just start from scratch. Create a new progress bar Weak Aura, name it whatever you like, select the trigger tab, change type to event, then change the event to combat log. Make sure that your message prefix is on spell and your message suffix is on cast start. The combat log can track nearly any event out there. The progress bar doesn't have to be just for casts, but it can be also used to track cooldowns as well. First we will track a cast, and then we will track a cooldown. Scroll down to spell name, and type in the name of the spell you wish to track. To make things easy, I'll just use my Demonic Gateway as the example here. That's it. Oh, wait. Looks like we're not actually tracking the cast. That's because the combat log doesn't indicate the cast time, so it must be set manually. Our Demonic Gateway is a 2.33 second cast, so next to where it says timed, we'll put 2.33. Great. Now we have a cast bar for when we cast Demonic Gateway. The only downside is that it doesn't show if we stopped casting Demonic Gateway. You can achieve this through a series of other triggers via the suffix cast failed or cast success, but that's a little beyond the scope of this video. Plus, it's important to experiment on your own. 
Now let's track a cooldown. We will track my Dark Pact cooldown. You may choose whatever you wish. Change our spell name to the cooldown we wish to track. In this case, it's Dark Pact. Then change the time duration to match the cooldown. In this case, Dark Pact is on a 60 second cooldown. Dark Pact doesn't have a cast time, so if you tried to use this weak aura right now, it wouldn't work. We need to change the message suffix to cast success. This means that the cooldown that you are trying to track has successfully gotten off. Once you've done that, your new weak aura should track your cooldown. It is recommended that you set more parameters in your trigger. For instance, since we are tracking our own cooldown, we are not concerned with the other dark packs that may be in the raid from other warlocks. Simply changing the source name to your character name, in this case Gubstep, would stop a lot of confusion during combat. That's how to create basic cast bars and track cooldowns via the combat log in weak auras. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you want to see future content by me, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I will see you all next video.